Oh, hello. I'm in the office till Christmas now because I've got loads of admin to do for a job, which involves me tidying up the this side of the office, which is like the training slash videoing side. And to do that, I need to move that set back in. So before I do that, uh, I've been sent some post. It's down there like in a box. So I'm going to go through my post because I'm very grateful for people that send me things. It's very helpful. So I'm going to go through that because people sent me stuff and they deserve to be acknowledged for their uh, donations to the cause of actual electrical content. Let me just remove all this stuff. I don't do transitions like that because I'm not a fucking bender. That's what's been sent in. I know where they're from. That one's from RLF Vacuum Cleaners Lake and Eve. Thank you very much. That one I think is from Alan Chan. And that one's from Aero Fine Security. We'll crack them open. We'll go for Alan Chan first because I think it's been here the longest. So bear with me while I drag that one over. I've like pre-cut them open to make it easier. So like it's TV, it's magical. Don't worry about it. This one's from Alan Chan. Oh, there you go. You can tell it's from Alan Chan because he sent me a message in Chinese lock. It says safety air collection, do not remove. I've read the bottom bit, I don't know about it. Oh, it says safety air collection, do not remove in, in English as well. But yeah, that is a... Does anyone know what that is? Because I know where he got these from. I believe... He picked these up in a, a market in Hong Kong. And obviously what's important to remember about Hong Kong is it was, I don't want to fucking get all racist here. I don't know how American rook alike. <laughs> but I think it's a British dependency. It was a British lease. There was some weird shit went off with the Chinese anyway. And we, and we basically ran Hong Kong. So in Hong Kong, I'm sure correct me if I'm wrong and I'll let you know later. I think they use BS7671. I'm going to go on Google this right there. Quick Google later. There's a lot to go out, but basically... Hong Kong is based on BS7671. That's why you get things like that, which is going to go in the pile over there. But also, so is like Cyprus, which is heavily based on BS7671. Hong Kong has its own set of actual regulations as a book, which now I need to get a copy of. And it doesn't use the 13-pin socket, the, our, our socket. But anyway, I digress. Also, Iraq uses the British socket. What's that one sent me? Oh, what's in there? There's a note. From your favourite Chinese spark, Chinese Scottish spark. If you haven't seen Alan Chan, he uh, looks like he sounds like Tagger. Uh, looks like a young Chinese boy. He sent me. Hey, I do love a cheap old uh, Chinese doll starter. Whoop! Fucking hell, look at that. That is retro. What is that? Alan knows I've got a sweet spot for really old, ancient doll starters, which I have. This one's got an overload, which is uh, four to eight. Looks typical. One, two, three, four, five terminals. Five terminals. So there you, there you, there, of course, there, lot. You can see the 415 ones. They're L1, L2, L3, because it's got the control voltage off the coil. That then must be a normally open because it's 15 and 18. The, is this is, he sent me for this look because it's got this weird, it's got this weird thing over the top. What is that for? What is that for? Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing, though. Right, so that... Oh, fucking hell, it's ruthlessly efficient when you think about it. That look is connecting a piece of metal to a piece of metal in there. And I bet you're suddenly thinking, what are they for? Like, does that become live? I do not know. Anyway, it's for the buttons, look. Those buttons, look. Merry up with those. So when you press that, or that, you're actually moving that mechanism. So I'm guessing there you're breaking... And there you're making. And I'm guessing when you make or break it, this whole fucking thing becomes live. Also with the five terminal weirdness. I will get that, maybe do some sort of video on that and do some tests on it. It's obviously going to be ruthlessly efficient now it's been put together. And it's all in that box. So yeah, cheers, Alan. Always interesting to see like that. Now, next time you go to Hong Kong, I'm going to have to try and get, get you to get me a copy of the Hong Kong wine regulations. But I'll pay for that. But yeah, cheers for that. That's the a ruthlessly efficient one I've not seen before. Looks like a bit of a classic. Next one. Here we go. Obviously, I don't get people to send me this because kind of I'm begging either. Uh, people send me because I'm interested. So the doll thing, interesting. Don't know what's in the LO one. ALO Fire Security on Instagram, if you want to know. Oh, 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 oh. It's some old shit. Oh, an old KMF. I just like to have these things kicking around just because I like the old Baker Light stuff. And I've got no secret. But I do only accept ones that are not ones that... Oh, no, that's retro. Retro. So it's just a KMF switch, but it's a nice Baker Light one. Nice clunky switch there there's something else in there and another one so i'll give one away because what i do is when people send me stuff like this they go do you want it i'm like yeah i'll have it and if i do take it it's a mastic right there to start getting your fingers in if i do want it i'll take it and then what i also do is 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. sent me a mug. Cheers, I like on the desk. He's a domestic installer. There you go. Um, he's also sent me a, a business card, which I won't show you, he's got his number on, some stickers and some sweets, which is awesome. Yeah, I will, uh, I will keep the worst one of those. And then the other one... I'd love to give these to local colleges to put local colleges don't ever want them. I think it's because don't take this the wrong way, local college, yeah. But I just often think that some of the people that work where you work aren't interested in getting old stuff like this and putting on walls and making displays. Whereas I think that's one of the most interesting things about being at colleges, seeing all the old displays and stuff. So yeah, um if there are any colleges out there that want me to want to get stuff, let me know and I'll I'll put a message out so it gets pushed away. But yeah, I'll be keeping one of those. It's an MEM one, and I'll be set, I'll be putting another one in the box to donate to local colleges or whoever wants it so yeah cheers uh, hello for that i think yeah, loads of brummies as well see this thing he said i thought oh it's like a pez or something like that or some little sweets it's not it's a lollipop that folds out look but i can only imagine look after you'd lick that a bit you it then thinks you can fold it away but that's got to be the most unhygienic lollipop i've ever had so i'm just gonna eat that all in one go shortly when i've made this video but yeah that's uh, i've not seen one of those before can you imagine having that in your pocket just getting all shit stuck to it and then you get it out and lick a dog it off it nom 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 Next one's this. This is bespoke. This isn't just someone sending me stuff. This is from Isla Vacuum Cleaner. Ryan, the best vacuum cleaner repairman in the UK. Possibly, well, the UK, not just Lake Eve, the whole of the UK. He's a little got these for me, which is something I've been uh, I've been toying with. So let me get them all out and remove all the packaging, and I'll show you what they are. I've done me a few prototypes here, the looks of it. Again, I'll do a bigger video on this, but Ryan's done these. These are an idea, Ed, when I was working at a college, yeah? And the idea is... I don't know I put mine on any big, it should have his name on any big, because he's done the job, yeah. Is that the hardest thing when I was teaching 2391, the one test people struggled with the most was the um, ring tests. And I was like, well, we could have a ring. So if you look there, look, you'll see there's a, there's a set of pins, earth, lava, neutral, go through a few resistors, and then go to these, which pretend to be sockets. I think, yeah, loads of brummies as well. So this thing he sent me, I thought, oh, it's like a Pez or something like that, or some little sweets. It's not. It's a lollipop that folds out, look. But I can only imagine, look, after you'd lick that a bit, you, it then thinks you can fold it away. He's also sent me a, a business card, which I won't show you, he's got his number on, some stickers and some sweets, which is awesome. Yeah, I will uh, I will keep the worst one of those. And then the other one, the, I'd love to give these to local colleges to put local colleges don't ever want them. I think it's because, don't take this the wrong way, local college, yeah? But I just often think that some of the people that work where you work aren't interested in getting old stuff like this and putting on walls and making displays. Whereas I think that's one of the most interesting things about being at colleges, seeing all the old displays and stuff. So yeah, um, if there are any colleges out there that want me to want to get stuff, let me know and I'll I'll put a message out so it gets pushed away. But yeah, I'll be keeping one of those. It's an MEM one, and I'll be set, I'll be putting another one in the box to donate to local colleges or whoever wants it. So yeah, cheers, uh, hello for that. Possibly well the UK, not just Lake Eve, the whole of the UK. He's a little got these for me. Which is something I've been uh, I've been toying with. So let me get them all out and remove all the packaging and I'll show you what they are. I've done me a few prototypes here, that looks of it. Again, I'll do a bigger video on this, but Ryan's done these from these are an idea Ed, when I was working at a college, yeah. And the idea is I don't know I put mine on any big, it should have his name on any big, because he's done the job, yeah. Is that the hardest thing when I was teaching 2391, the one test people struggled with the most was the um ring tests. And I was like, well, we could have a ring. So if you look there, look, you'll see there's a, there's a set of pins, earth, lava, neutral, go through a few resistors, and then go to these, which pretend to be sockets, all the way around the ring, and then here you've got some you can link them out as per the ring tests. So that's, a, I think he's done a bit of a, a bit of bodge wire on that one. There's another one where he's put the wires on, and he's done them for me because I just thought before he started, like, ripping boards apart and stuff like that, you could sit with the tester and do the sanity testing and work it all out on a board like this, just in front of you, rather than to go running around. So it's a little idea I've had for colleges and that, which I'd like to put out there as a free thing. It's also something that I just didn't have time to do myself, because I'd love to be able to design PCBs, and if some made them sent to me, I think it'd be really rewarding to design something that sent to you. But I haven't got time. So he's done these, which I'm going to have a play with. Because we were just debating like whether these tracks would get the right resistances, and if it'd measure out right, or if you need to keep them all straight. So... I'm a big fan, and I think he's as well, just doing something and ending up with a physical thing you can touch. Because obviously, if you tested that as a socket now between there and there, that resistance won't be as much as that one. So it's just a little concept. He's done them for me so I can actually try it out and see if it works. And we might have another. We're going to dive back into that when I'm not as busy. I'm busy for a couple of months on jobs, but this is something I want to knock out to colleges or be able to give to colleges or people that are training because you can then go, oh, yeah, do all your ring testing on it. Just an idea. Maybe you could, in theory, do a whole board 
on a PCB that you could test with a real meter and do all the testing. I don't know. So if anyone's got any ideas about that or the way it might work, let us know because this is like a very early concept of the idea. And this is not to replace doing it on a pretend fuse board or even a real board or a real ring circuit. It's just to like build up confidence in using a tester because a lot of the time, people just need confidence building a tester. So I'd like to have a PCB. It's maybe about A4 size where you had a little screen print like this like the wise of a board and then circuits going out that you could do the continuity test with you could do r1 r2 with not ever liven it up obviously but it's just a little idea and it's finally i've got something to touch that does it so, so cheers to him for doing that appreciate it and cheers for all the people that have sent some lovely post i'm have a dick around with all that and clean this mess up now and now i've got to move thing because i've got to do a video on the uh i've got to do a video on the vega probe i've been lent down there because it needs to go back because i've had it for ages and not done it with it so yeah and I've got loads of videos to do, so cheers for all that. I just want to just um, say thanks to everyone that sent me stuff, because uh, it does all get used. So cheers. Fly lies. It is fry rice, you prick. <laughs>